I can't really see this properly. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Je m'appelle Owen Fox and in this video I want to talk about um, getting into vibrational alignment with ourselves in relation to our feelings and thoughts towards people so we can feel peace and happiness within ourselves and in our lives towards people and we can do this with one particular specific person at a time who we feel we have some sort of like uncomfortable feelings and stress with and towards so today i think is a uh, tuesday october the second the second month 10th month, 2nd day, 2017, and I've been listening to a lot of Abraham lately, and there's one in particular I highly resonate with today. Um, so, in this video, I want to say, like, we can have the power of how we perceive towards people in our lives. We don't have to give away our emo our power of how we feel. It doesn't matter what people are doing, like... It's how we perceive. And one thing I've noticed in my own life is, and even everyone's life, like my entire history of life and other people, we tend to focus on the negative aspect about people. And what, I, what I've been learning and want to practice more and I do practice and it works perfectly is, one, I generally vent if someone like, if I get upset a lot about somebody, okay? If I've been mistreated, abused, lied to, all these sort of different things, okay? So usually I talk with my best friends like about this sort of stuff and I get it off my chest and you know they do the same with me and we learn and we become wiser. <laughs> oh no way, Katrina says the third in Australia, all right cool, hugs. Hi Amy, good morning. So what I've been doing today is I'm focusing on the good things about people, all the lovely things that I like, like not even all but just a few of them like. I know that they're a good person at heart, they're trying their best. They have good things about them. A lot of them have sincerity. And even if they did stuff that isn't too nice, like deception or lying, which, you know, right? Let's say, it be, let's say rejection or abandonment as well. A lot of us experience that. Um, ultimately, we do not have to think in a way that makes us feel emotionally closed and sad or upset or depressed in life it's not what happens it's how we our attitude to what happens it's how we perceive other people and life's events and ourselves that's what governs determines and makes our emotions okay so we have a scale we can think really gloomy and negatively hopelessness disempowered or we can think more the scale of vibrational higher where we feel more hopeful more gratitude and appreciation towards people and life and ourselves we can compliment and praise everyone this is what i was on the phone to two people yesterday about like getting money in my phone because <laughs> i'm just back in ireland and i was like at the end i was just like I'm just ringing up because I was just joking, you know. I have um, I have um, I have, I've just like had a, 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 I've just been like hurt and like had an upset with a girl, and I, I'm I just want to get a new phone number because in case I want to like talk, to, <laughs> just talk to these other people, new girls, um, and I just like like it's like I was talking to the woman on the phone like as if she's some sort of like therapist or counselor now it was all like really really fun and i have to say she was cracking up laughing we're all having a great laugh me and my friend and her so uh i i really want to bring in like playfulness and like fun and like jokiness and gratitude and appreciation so what are like the the top what what do you love and appreciate or grateful for about the people who've upset you the most in your life right now that's what i want to ask you good morning owen thank you for the beautiful message you share Ah, you're Irish. Oh. Hugs, hugs and love. Hey everyone, thanks for all your like, our thoughts determine our happiness. Basically speaking, yeah, it's our attitude and our thoughts. That does the, the, like, let's say you're in pain, okay? You can either be in pain physically, 
physical pain, discomfort, and you can be hopeless and in despair, or you can be hopeful. And if you're going to be in this gloomy state of despair and hopelessness and victimhood, and this could be emotionally too, like you break up a relationship, you're cheated on, you're lied to, or you're rejected and abandoned, you can either have those attitudes and feelings and perceptions, or you can have more hopefulness, feeling more optimistic a little bit, a sense of power and that you can make things happen and that, that life can bring you good stuff if you just let it, let it happen and bring it in and take it when it comes and just be open to it and just focus on gratitude and appreciation, you know. So with people, it's uh, very important to focus on gratitude and appreciation. So instead of thinking up, instead of focusing on the one thing that they did bad or the three things or their flaws, their weaknesses, their failures, look at what they did. They have, they, a lot of people have a good heart. Everyone has a good heart. Like, and you also create a bad relationship with people by your own attachments, your own heaviness, your own neediness, your own clinginess, or your own unavailability, emotional or physical unavailability. Hard to get, not being there, not listening. There's loads of stuff. We actually have to take responsibility and accountability for our relationships. So stop blaming it on the other people and bring it back to yourself. A mutual creator, a mutual co-creator in a relationship. You're mutually accountable. Now, you're not accountable for their behavior. You're accountable for your behavior, what you did and what you didn't do and what you did say and what you didn't say. So this video is supposed to be more focusing on less of the practical stuff and more on the emotional stuff regarding our perceptions, thoughts and attitude. So, and our focusing and shifting vibrationally from negative thoughts and gloominess towards everything someone did that was wrong and bad and they didn't do this and they didn't. Okay, they did that. We acknowledge that. We're not gonna pretend or deny that they didn't do it. We're going to learn from it, but we're not going to keep focusing on it and thinking about this stuff the minute we think about this person, because that's what we do, folks. We think about this blob, this nodule of what they're doing, what they've been up to, what they haven't done. And with that, that's, we paint their whole picture. This is who they are. This is how they are. And literally, like, people are trying their best. Like, people have good traits and attributes. Like, they do their best. Um... So if we are in a relationship with somebody, it could be like a parent relationship or a romantic relationship or a work relationship or a friend relationship. The more we focus on what they're doing wrong and bad and how they're wrong and bad in the past, that's going to make us feel vibrationally lower in life. And we're going to create less of a good life for ourselves. We'll look after our health worse. We'll have less positive energy and creativity and we'll be less in a good mood. So it's all about our attitude and our focus. So let me see, Steve James saying, what's up, gangster? <laughs> Carla says, good morning, Owen. Love you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. The strength they give us. Kachina says, the strength they give us and they challenge us to bring out. Yeah, people do bring out our best like through trial and tribulation. And it takes a, it's a process. It takes a while sometimes. But with this video, we're getting there faster. So instead of being like in a, in a negative loop in our mind for years or weeks or days, it could, we can get back, get back, get back to the moment of focusing on them in a, a better, more positive light. We open up our heart. We let, let, let go of the heaviness. We can open up to forgiveness and appreciation and love of the person and what they tried to do that was good. And like the more we are in this lower vibrational state with people and our perceptions, we will act bad, worse towards them. We'll be more critical, more blaming them. And they're going to act worse. <laughs> of course they are. When we're unfriendly and unappreciative and gloomy towards them, of course we're going to bring out the worst of them. So this is what I'm talking about, about responsibility and accountability also, and being a co-creator. So when we raise our vibration, and what Abraham, who I really like, talked about, they call this being in the vortex. <laughs> The, like the spinning access to our being in alignment with our higher self that's just another way I, I like to put it too more in alignment to our higher self we have more thoughts you know centered heart thoughts like crown chakra hearty thoughts that are clear and empowered and i want to encourage everyone to do the praise and the compliments like i was saying 
when I was on the phone yesterday twice, like the, at the end of the phone call, they say, so is there anything else you'd like me to do? I'm like, yeah, actually, could you do compliment and praise like 15 or 20 people today? Like just something, say, say what you like about them. Like, I like your hair. I like your smile. I like the way you do this. I like your hat. Like, thank you. Or I appreciate this about you. And then I, and also do maybe like 15 to 20 push-ups and sit-ups. <laughs> I regularly say this on the phone or someone. <laughs> oh my God, it was so much fun on the phone yesterday. It's supposed to be such a boring phone call, but like I was telling her about my relationship troubles like in a funny, jocular, jokey way. <laughs> Emily is watching. Hi, Emily. Hi, Josephine watching. Yeah, so Kachina says something clever. Our own insecurities attract them into our lives. So everyone comes into our life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And they're always there for a reason, everyone. So extract the reason. What are they here to teach us about ourselves? And what can we let go of that they're here to teach us that's blocking a higher life for ourselves? All right, cool. <laughs> Emily, please, just pub people are watching. <laughs> Emily says, I just want to, I just want to grab you and kiss you. Look at all the beautiful energy you give. You're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Kachina says, ah, balancing our charades, our charades and being positive, focus on the positive. <laughs> Emily, Emily, your lips. <laughs> so yeah, focusing on the positive folks is very, 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 very powerful. And it's not to deny or pretend what they've done that's not nice. Because we're all doing not nice stuff. So we have to take accountability again. And so, saying sorry is very good. But we don't have to like lick up to people. And we don't have to be too critical to people. And we don't have to pretend people didn't do stuff. But we can change our vibration. Higher vibration. Be happier in life. Be non-attached to the outcomes. Expect good things but without attachment to it actually happening or coming true. So expect people to be in a better mood with us. Expect people to, to be kinder to us, to recognize us, to love us and appreciate us more. Expect people to be friendlier and happier and nicer to us. Like, hey, I know I said that, I'm saying it again. It feels necessary and it feels right. It feels good. Um, expect good things from today, everybody. Expect good things to come into your life. But just don't be attached to when, how, or exactly the way it comes. And primarily, it doesn't matter what comes or doesn't come, just live your life with integrity and to be happy, to be in alignment, to think correctly, perceive and align, and to have a good attitude of appreciation and love and gratitude and understanding, and to get on with your life without attachment to what people do or don't do or they don't give you or they take away from you. But just get on with your life with empowerment and clarity. Not avoidance. But when you think this way, you're much more empowered. You're going to create a better relationship with everybody because you're in a better mood. And you're going to be more appreciative of people and seeing their better points. And this could be the person in the shop working with you. It could be someone who like gets grumpy with you. Like if you're grumpy and someone's grumpy with you. Obviously, you're going to be really grumpier with them as well. But if you're in a really good mood, because you get yourself in a good mood, because you practice maybe 5 to 10 or 15 minutes meditation, maybe in the mornings or anytime you want to, you, you get yourself thinking straight, especially. Thinking. So I don't even do meditation anymore. But what I do do is I get naked in the sun, like like today. I, I like to be, be barefoot. I like to be in nature. I play with my dog. I play with people. <laughs> Hello, uh, say hello to my Facebook friends. <laughs> Little fella, hi. <laughs> hi, fella. Hi. So, yeah. So, um, Kachina says change the outcome then in our consciousness. Yeah, that's the primary, that's our work is to change our alignment and consciousness. Simple as that. Because everything comes from there, everybody. And everything that happens, we deal with it and respond from there, our consciousness and our alignment. So, so part of this is physical. When we're in good alignment, we look after bodies more. When we're in battle, when we're disaligned and are going through a, big, a lot of healing, we can forget about our physical bodies. 
But I find being well rested and slept and having a lighter food and don't overeating, which I do. I overeat, like, but, but we, won't, we won't get into that. <laughs> but just looking after bodies, basically, that's going like, to really help us in life. But um, yeah, just do our best, everyone. Like, for example, yesterday I was in the supermarket, okay, and there's these, these people talking about exercise. And one of them was like pretty overweight, to be honest. But he was talking as if he's like doing kick and he's kicking ass. Like he's bloody, he's exercising and he loves it. <laughs> But then uh, I joined in a little bit, you know, I said, oh, you, you guys like, like exercising or boxing or something? Because one of them was like wearing a boxing t-shirt. <laughs> and I said, like, well done, man. Like, you're doing really good. Like, I hear you say, like, you talk like Bruce Lee or something. Like, I wouldn't want to get in a fight with you. <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with you. Like, kick, kick my ass or something. I can't remember what I said, something like that. And then the, he started laughing a little bit. And then he said, well, to be honest, like, I talk, but I should really don't do enough. I need to do more, you know. I'm busy or tired or distracted. And I said, nah, don't worry about it, man. Like, you could be doing nothing. Like, you're doing really good. You could be doing nothing. Like, you're doing, you're doing much better than, like, than, than yourself could be. And he's like, yeah, like, because that's why you have to have the attitude of, like, give yourself praise and compliments. Praise and compliment people. So, find the sh sparkle, the, sh the glimmer, the shine, the, sh the shimmer in anything, any situation or person. And focus on that. Because focusing is like putting the magnifying glass on it. Focus on the, do that, like, like rosemary, peppermint, what's this? <laughs> this is rosemary essential oil. Good girl, Bella. <laughs> ah, hello, Bella. Bella, everyone loves you. <laughs> so everyone I hope you're getting the point there yeah like you can actually have fun instead of being gloomy another woman in the supermarket like she was saying about the apple juice not being like organic or pasteur like pasteurized and like, don't worry it's fruits like it's way better than nearly everything you'd be having in life fruit's the best thing for us like think you, I won't even talk about what you could be having to you in the video now I was just saying hey listen woman like don't worry about that like don't don't be worrying about a bit of apple juice Jeepers, that's like very easy to digest, very easy to eliminate. It doesn't cause sickness. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't be uptight about stuff, everybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Kachina says, oh, my God, your baby is so adorable. I have a, I have a chihuahua, a pixie girl. Hey, Quergan and Owen. Or Sandy says, hi, Owen. It is a bit fuzzy. Yeah, sorry about that. A bit fuzzy, eh? Sometimes it's fuzzy. Mm, I've, I am, I'm wearing like citrus on my arms today. I put like, I put, <laughs> I put like orange pee on my skin today and my body, just like full body rub, like a few minutes, not long before this video. Um, but, um, yeah, everyone, I suppose I won't take, I won't take too much of your time anymore. Um, but I hope you get the impression of this video. So let's all love and forgive the people who we have blockages towards. Let us put ourselves in vibrational alignment so we feel good and we are in a loving state of being, a loving state of consciousness. Let us let go of the blocks and the heaviness that bogs us down and gets in the way of our happiness, peace and joy in life because I want to be happy and peaceful and joy. That's what I want in life, everyone. It's so simple. I want to be happy and I want to be peaceful and have joy. Like, so that's what I want to do. I want to... I want to feel good towards people and I want to play and have fun in life. I want to be happy and healthy. Lavender essential oil rocks. I love essential oils so much. They're one of my favorite things in life. And I love crystals too, they're pretty nice, but right now more into essential oils. Wine has grapes in <laughs> it, does that? <laughs> I'm so sensitive to everything, everyone. I'm photosensitive, I won't get into that now, but um, wine can't stand alcohol very much at all, to be honest, so. Yeah, red wine is supposed to be better than like, just get the red wine without the sulfites, because sulfites make us feel tired or sick, hangover. So, some, Ainsley says, the timing of this video is perfect and was needed greatly in my life. Thank you for sharing universal love. Um, Kachina Rose says, I love your videos. You have a great sense of humor. Hugs. You should, should, I wish I could tell the stories the way it was happening yesterday. Was, they're just off the charts. Crazy yesterday. It was so much fun. And then I was in another place having some vegan food. <laughs> 
and uh, I was like saying, "Hey guys, you don't have any? Do you have any filtered water?" And like they didn't have filtered water. I'm like, ah, yes, I wish you had filtered water. Everyone like, but but I love the place. I love the lighting. I love the, the trees, the park outside. I love like the spaciousness and the the nature. I love this place. It's really nice. But don't forget about the filtered water. And they're saying they're recommended to their like boss. And then 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 uh, I made some other joke with them about something. What was that? I was with my friend. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? I made some other like crazy joke, and they all knew then I was in a <laughs> some sort of crazy customer, and they're all like in a funny mood. Because <laughs> once you're in a really funny mood, everyone you're sharing like jokes, humor, praise, gratitude, and compliments. People just get in a really good mood, and they love it. They love you, and they love it. They love the energy you're embodying and sharing. It's contagious. Do you know the way when someone's in a really gloomy, negative mood, it's like so contagious. Oh my God. Brr. Everyone is like, oh no. And everyone gets really like upset almost. If you have someone like clowning around like, <laughs> Bella Boots. <laughs> mm, what's happening? What do you want? <laughs> oh, maybe it's her teddy. Bella, do you want a teddy? <gasps> if you're in a really kick-ass mood, it's seriously contagious. And you're just rooting for everyone, giving them like praise and compliments or gratitude and, or love or making them laugh. But yeah, then, then they served my, me and my friend, okay? And they served my, there was two waiters coming to serve. We got like some like vegan masa man curry. So uh, they served us and they served him first just by like a few seconds. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you staring? I didn't say it to them because I didn't want to go too crazy. I was saying, joking with my friend, they served you first. Like, this is like, it's like, serving, they're like picking on me, serving me last. It's prejudice. So yeah, welcome Jeannie. Welcome Car Carol. Wow, Angel says, I love how your skin is perfect. It really is. I don't know, maybe it's the quality of the video, but... Actually, the woman in the supermarket yesterday who was worrying about apple juice, and I said, don't worry, you're doing really good. <laughs> she said, I've got really good skin, actually. Funnily enough, I didn't really think that about myself, but... Kajina, you're commenting a lot. <laughs> Love your voice over when you read us. I'm here laughing. <laughs> Hugs. <laughs> And then Julie's talking to Emily. I like it when you all talk to each other, by the way. Julie's talking to Emily. Emily, such a nice guy. Welcome, Angel, Angel Lur. Oh, Emily, isn't he Julie? Can you can easily fall in love with him? <laughs> I need to hear your voice, Emily, so I can copy your Scottish, Scottish accent more. Thank you. Philippe says, keep shining. The world needs you. The world needs all of us. But thanks, Philippe. Just raise your vibration. Simple as that. Thinking is the most important thing and generally looking after your physical body too and just vowing to be happy. Don't put up with not being happy by the way you think. So remember that. Don't don't accept being unhappy by the way you think. And then try and watch this video again and remember to think good. Praise, compliments, gratitude, jokes and playfulness. Okay. <laughs> thanks everyone. Thanks Katina. Thank you Julie. Thanks. You know, nice comments. Just a bit of a backlog. Video quality is brilliant. Wowzers. No way. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think Bella's happy now. She has her teddy. <laughs> Aren't you Bella? So I'm gonna probably do a cliff walk today along the ocean and nature. Um, I do encourage us all to eat more fruits and raw food and salad with cooked foods because it saves us a lot of energy and allows it to digest easier. And we're in a better mood when we don't waste too much energy on digestion, which is usually the biggest way we lose our energy, everyone. I notice it. My, if I had a big cooked meal before this, I wouldn't be able to make this video and I wouldn't be laughing much probably either. I would a bit. Like, you know, it depends on what I ate, but just be careful. <laughs> I love your baby. Which baby are you talking about? My baby, this girl. <laughs> Bella. Yeah, yeah, no, she's adorable. Okay, everyone, so lots of love. And um, let's, I'm just going to. Let's be quiet for a minute, okay? Just like a few seconds. Let's do this, everyone. non religious just spiritually connect.
Okay, now it's just, it's just a busy world sometimes and just need to take a break. See everyone, lots of love, thanks for everything. <laughs> Hugs to everybody. <laughs> See you again, and if you came in late, watch the beginning of the video if you feel like it. <laughs> love you all, and um, myself and Bella say goodbye. Okay, thanks everyone for all of your love. Your love makes me feel better. I love your love, I like your love, I like your... Niceness and kindness to me and everybody. To me. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Keep it up. Keep up the good work, everyone. Keep it up. You're doing brilliant in your life. And I appreciate you all. So we're all creators and we just do our best. So just go easy on ourselves. Simple as that. Okay. So finish the video. Okay. Bye. I'll see you on another video. See you. Thanks for joining. <laughs>